The Squirrel Suit power-up adds so much excitement and variety to our Mario Maker 2 levels. Today, I will show you 8 acorn ideas to make your levels soar to new heights. Let's get started. An undercover task force of spies called Operation Delicious Gold has tasked Luigi with mastering new acorn technology. His mission is to learn everything it can do to help the organization to hunt and obtain that sweet, sweet gold. Luigi learns that he can cling onto walls for a short time before sliding down. He tests his skills on conveyor belts and is able to move up or down while clinging on. In this course, different colored semi-solids show Luigi which conveyors will help him move upward and which ones will push him downward. He'll need to use the correct ones to gain elevation and make his way to the top. Blastomecha Koopa is not happy that Luigi made it to his Sky Fortress and tries to destroy him with this arena. On-off conveyor belts move in opposite directions on each wall and Luigi has no floor to land on for safety. A spike ball from a pipe switches the conveyor belt directions to confuse Luigi while he must wait for another spike ball overhead to slowly roll into a P-switch. If he can survive long enough, the P-switch will destroy the Mecha Koopa, grant him a key, and give him precious ground to stand on. Luigi goes to the extreme cold to test the suit in various weather conditions. In this idea, he'll have to use icicles to fall and jump at the perfect time, while also avoiding taking damage from the stabby water. While Luigi's gliding, he can only activate a burst of speed upward once before he loses some control. He figures out that if he jumps on a pokey's head, he can reset his flying powers. Luigi will need to use this idea to strategically use enemies or snowballs and recharge the jump to make it through tough areas. He can grab the wall and wait for the perfect moment to regenerate his power and make it through the course. What is your favorite power-up in the new Super Mario Bros. style? Let us know in the comments below. Luigi has tried using a few enemies to reset the powers, but wants to experiment further. In this arena, Luigi will have to avoid offset skewers and fly upward to hit POW blocks. He can use wigglers to reset his flight abilities, but because they're on tracks, he'll have to buy time by jumping back and forth between the walls. When he hits the POWs, they destroy munchers that will eventually ignite a bomb. If he can survive long enough, the ignited bomb will explode, granting him a key and forming ground underneath the door. Luigi's next test is a parkour training course. He wants to see if he can maneuver precisely and efficiently through tight areas. Because this course is in the night airship theme, bullet blasters will fall slowly while Luigi is unaffected. No enemies can be found, and the bullet blasters won't harm Luigi, so he can focus purely on the platforming skills. This challenge utilizes auto-scroll to force Luigi to move swiftly. He must hit on-off switches to drop bullet blasters from the sky and wall jump off of them to traverse obstacles. Sometimes he'll need to hold the side and slide down carefully to buy enough time for the way forward to clear up. Luckily, the incredible squirrel pilot Luigi can easily clear this trial. Be sure to give the creators of these courses some love by checking out their level codes in the description below. Flying up high on the airship gave Luigi the idea to test the effects of wind on his squirrel suit. He travels to the desert at night to try a windy speed challenge. In the new Super Mario Bros. style, the wind constantly moves from the left to the right. This adds extra speed to Luigi's movements and always pushes him forward. He'll have to react even quicker to challenges to stay alive. Once Luigi masters the additional speed, he can beat the timer and move on. Operation Delicious Gold wants Luigi to test the acorn suit in the heat. Luigi travels to a lava-filled castle to see the effects. As he pilots through the course, he'll need careful timing to avoid being crushed by skewers. He'll have to act as bait by clinging onto walls and getting thwomps to move before sneaking behind them to get through. Luigi uses dry bones to reset his flight abilities for more maneuverability through the castle. Once he gets to the final chamber, he encounters an angry Larry Koopaling. Luigi will have to dodge fireballs while making his way up to hit the on-off switches at the top. The only way to make it is to strategically use the dry bones on a muncher to reset his flight for extra vertical distance. 
Once he hits the switch, a shelmet will exit a pipe and bounce towards Larry, damaging him. Luigi will need to wait for Dry Bones to wake up to attack again while keeping his precious squirrel suit. After three shelmet hits, Luigi can defeat Larry and mark the heat test complete. If you're enjoying this video, be sure to shoot a shelmet at that like button. Commander Skip Squeak is concerned that the acorns could be used as a weapon against Operation Delicious Gold. In this course, Luigi will have to avoid acorns at all costs to succeed. He'll need to use his fire flower to clear frozen coin blocks and move forward. Because of the clear condition, he'll need to make sure not to take an acorn or he can't complete the test. He also only has 100 seconds to make it through this gauntlet, so he's got to move quickly. Pipes with fire flowers act as quasi checkpoints to give Luigi a chance to reset. He'll need to react to many variations of attacking acorns to dodge his way through. If he can pass all of the tests while keeping the fire flower, Luigi can prove that the acorn itself isn't a threat and can move on to the final test. The ultimate test requires Luigi to complete an entire course without touching the ground. The clear condition will ensure that he doesn't cheat at this task. As Luigi progresses, he learns that touching a twister and being grabbed by a claw help to reset his flying ability. If he's feeling risky, Luigi can explore the course for some extra sweet, sweet gold rewards. With a few careful twister jumps and smooth gliding, Luigi can finish his acorn research and successfully complete his mission. For 30 things to do when you're bored in Mario Maker 2, click on the video on the screen right now. For more Mario Maker 2 inspiration, be sure to subscribe and click the bell. I'm Aristotle, and thanks for watching.